this video I measured the state of health of um, the battery of my um, 803. I'm using the capacity used versus the um, factory capacity method. I'm plugging an ODB2 um, dongle into the ODB2 um, port. Um, I have these um, dongles on my, um, my website um, if you want to purchase. Uh, okay, enough of the advertising. Let's, let's have a look at the video. Okay, state of health. Um, I think we all know what state of health is, but um, just to recap, state of health is how healthy is the battery, and that's measured by the amount of charge it's got in there when it's fully charged. So when it's at 100% when we first get it, we've got 60 kilowatt hours, and we've got 150 amp, amp hours. Um, when it when it deteriorates over, over a period of time, well, nobody knows how long that is, but but uh, let's just say it's um, at 90%, state of health is 90%, that would mean that the uh, kilowatt hours left is 54, 54 kilowatt hours. Um, so uh, I think we kind of can get that. So we're going to be using state of charge, and um, what is state of charge? Well, we know what state of charge is because we see it all the time. Here's an example of 82%. What it's saying is there's 82% of the battery remaining. Now, if we look at that, it also says it's 395 uh, kilometres, and we all know that's just wrong. Um, so, you know, how much faith do we have in this 82% state of charge? Well, for all the testing I've done, it's dead accurate. So when it says there's 82% left, there is 82% left. And that's going to be helpful to us. Um, how's it calculated? Now, that's an interesting thing because um, we assume that there's, a, you know, there's this way of measuring how much charge is in a battery. Um, it's really not that, uh, it's, it's not that simple. So um, one way, you can, the traditional way of measuring the charge in a battery is by measuring the um, voltage. And that's how you measure your 12 volt battery, your lead asset battery. Um, and, and if you look here, this is a lead asset battery um, uh, discharge. And you'll see that's pretty linear. At, um, at 50, at, you know, when it's there, it's got 50% charge. And you can you know, do that calculation pretty easily. Um, for the lithium batteries, lithium ion and lithium ion phosphate, which is ours, um, the graph is, is different. Now, this is a lithium ion, and the lithium ion phosphate is a, is a little bit different, but the concepts are the same. There's a very slow, slow um, loss of voltage until it gets very low, and then it, it drops off. So to use the voltage uh, is going to be very difficult because is it here or is it there? I mean, if that small amount of drop, there's a 10% um, uh, discharge, whereas here uh, and from here to here is it's it's quite a bit so <clears throat> we really can't use that I mean we can't use that so another way of doing it is we can measure the amount of um, uh, kilowatt hours or in, in, in fact it's actually amps how many amps the battery um, puts into the into the motor and how many um, amps it the motor gives back to the battery and and by calculating that um, we can work out the um, um, safe uh, charge for example if we use 30 kilowatt hours it's safe you, you would imagine you could say that it's at 50% um, problem with that is as the battery deteriorates uh, that that's not going to be correct so um, if you measure if you measure the um, and you discharged um, when you've discharged 30 kilowatt hours uh, or uh, 75 amps you would assume you've got 75 left sorry you assume you're at 50% but you can't assume that you've got 75 um, amp hours or, or 30 um, amp hours left because um, you may not the battery might have deteriorated and then what you'll find is you, you'll go and you keep going and you get to say, oh, I've got 10% left and suddenly it stops. So BYD just couldn't afford to do that. 
So how do they um, how <coughs> how do they uh, work out the the um, balance? Well, they do use voltage, and the way they do it is they have a lookup table. So by by in their lab, they measure the different voltages and the, at different temperatures and the state of charge. Um, and obviously, they do a lot of research into that. So they have a fairly accurate or very accurate lookup table where they can look at the temperature of the battery, they can look at the voltage of the cells, and they can measure individual cells, and that tells them the state of charge. Um, so, um, so we can measure, um, using that, we can measure the, set, uh, the health of the battery pretty safely. Um, so the way I'd be doing it, or the way I do do it, and it seems pretty good, is to measure the energy used. Now, we have to assume that the BYD state of charge is accurate, and I think that's pretty safe. So, <clears throat> when we've used 50%, when it says uh, there's 50% of the battery left, um, whatever we've used to then, that's how much we've got left over. For example, if we've used 20 kilowatt hours to, um, to 50%, then we know we've got 50, uh, 20 kilowatt hours left. So if we charge the battery to 100%, then we discharge it, and at a particular state of charge, you know, let's, let's say 50%, um, we can measure how much we've used, um, because um, on that OBD2 um, uh, system, um, we can, it, it tells us what we've discharged. So if we've discharged um, uh, 30, 30 kilowatt hours or, or 75 amp hours when the state of charge is at 50%, um, then the battery is 100% healthy. Um, a proportion of that, so if we, dis, if we divide the discharge, um, wherever the state of health is, um, by 60 times um, state of charge, uh, that's how we can calculate that. But I'm going to do a worked example so it makes more sense. So I'll do that now. Okay, on the left-hand side, I've got the snapshot of when um, when I started, which was at 100% full, and then the uh, right hand is when I went down to zero or near zero, 0.01, as far as I was going. So let's put this up on the whiteboard. And here it is on the whiteboard. So the accumulated charge and, um, and the uh, accumulated charge at zero, the difference between the two was 20... 29. Um, now, at the end, the sorry, in the discharge was 3,127. Uh, uh, the difference being 179. So, so we decreased the um, battery by 179, and we increased it um, through regeneration by 29. The difference between 150 amps, which is exactly what the factory says we should have. So that means my battery, after after um, five thousand five hundred hours, is still at a hundred percent, and that's pretty good. Um, but I've been religiously um, charging my battery every every week to uh, at least a hundred percent, and so I'm doing what I'm told, and uh, it's working.